What's up, guys? It's your girl. I'm Welcome back to my channel. Yeah. I'm going to be trying Emma Chamberlain's notorious, well not notorious, but brand new coffee line. So Emma Chamberlain, if you don't know, is a super duper ginormous YouTuber. And I am in love with her content. And I noticed like she's freakishly obsessed with coffee. So I decided, why not try it? I really, really want to try it. I am a freaking lover of coffee and anything so sweet and good and yummy. So I was like, why not? Let's try it. So make sure before watching this video, you guys subscribe, follow me on all my social medias. I'll put them on the screen. Give this video a big fat like because it helps me a lot. And let's try this coffee. So first things first, I'm gonna run to Walmart so I can get a mason jar because I have to give it a fair chance like Emma always does. And then I'm going to get some soy milk and some caramel drizzle because that's how I love my coffee. And hopefully if they have some metal straws, we'll get some of those. Oh, real quick, let me show you how the coffee comes. So it comes in like a, a package like this and then it's like sealed and I got two orders because just in case I loved it, I wouldn't have to like order it again and pay shipping, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna open her up. Okay, so I put them on the floor, which I'm probably not supposed to do, but it's okay. So it just looks like this, and it says Chamberlain Coffee, which is so cute. I feel like this idea for her is like so perfect because she's always been that girl, like that coffee lover. And then it comes with a little sticker I think you can put on like your MacBook or whatever. I don't know if you can see that, but that's how it came. And I got one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten bags of coffee in my thing. But I'm going to go run to Walmart, and I will catch you guys in the kitchen when we're making the coffee. <laughs> so we have our ingredients here. So we have the soy milk. This is just silk. Then we have this dipping caramel dip. That's what I like to use instead of like caramel syrup. We have a fake hydroflask, hydroflask. Then we got a cup because oh, I didn't have a mason jar. And then we have our three things of coffee. Oh yeah, let me give you guys a close up of this thing. Okay, so this is like just add water and like some directions but like i want to see how to make emma's cold brew so i'm going to rewatch her video Okay guys, so now that we made our cold brew, we have to wait 24 hours or overnight and then we will get to try it. So I will see you guys in the morning for the ultimate taste test, hopefully with a freaking mason jar or something I can drink out of. Also while I was at Walmart, I bought chapstick because it wouldn't be an Emma Chamberlain video if you ain't got no chapstick. You heard. I will see you guys in the morning, moisturized and ready to drink my coffee. Well, early the next morning good morning guys it's the next day so i'm about to run to the other walmart not the ghetto walmart <laughs> so i can see if i can get a mason jar and try this coffee i'm so excited it's brewed up we're ready to go we're ready to try it guys my 18 balloons are still in the car <laughs> but when i tell you guys i have so many expectations for this coffee if it does not live up to the hype i'm gonna be so mad bitch it's emma chamberlain if she's gonna put her name on a coffee it's gotta be the best goddamn coffee in the planet. You heard though. So if it's not good, I'm gonna be really upset. But I really hope it's good. Emma, if you're watching this, love you, boo. I hope your coffee is bomb as fuck. We about to try it right now. But I need to go to... There's some kids walking in the street. I'm kinda scared. But real quick though, you guys know what the cutest thing ever is? When old people walk their dogs! Twelve seconds later. I decided against getting a mason jar and now I want a cup. So I think we're gonna get 
this bad boy. A few moments later. Okay hey guys, like I said, the Walmart I live near is ghetto. They don't have metal straws. They have silicone straws. Silicone straws are for babies, okay? But it's fine, we make it work, okay? On this channel, we don't give up, we make things work. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to make my coffee. I'm so excited. Like I'm not even gonna take the wrap off this cup. Like I'm that excited. <laughs> Let's do it guys. So we have our cold brew here. We have our caramel and we have our milk. Emma always says to pour the cold brew over ice and then add your stuff. Well, I don't like ice. So <clears throat> not like I don't like ice, but I like cold coffee. Like whenever I go to Starbucks, I always ask for no ice. So we're just gonna pour it in here. Oh, it smells so rich though. Like it smells really good. So that's 20 ounces, and this is a 30 ounce cup. So we're going to fill it with milk. But the thing is, if you make a caramel macchiato, you pour the, the stuff over the milk. I don't know, it doesn't matter to be honest. Like, I don't care. I just want it to taste good, okay? Filling it with vanilla soy milk. I feel like a chef right now, low key. Okay, cool, cool. So since that's a 20 ounce cup, this is 10 ounces of soy milk, I think, right? I didn't fill it up all the way though. So now we're going to add our caramel. So I just, I don't see a spoon right now, so we're just gonna use a knife and add the caramel. Uh, look at that, yum. Okay, so I'm gonna just like scoop it like that and just put some in there. Okay, wait, hold on. This is harder than I thought. I'm gonna put some more because I am a huge caramel fan, okay, bitch? Okay, so now we are going to stir some. Let me get my lid. We are trying this coffee, guys. You want me to be honest, guys? It's kind of basic. Boo, get off the stage! Yes, <laughs> this coffee is basic. I'm upset. Like, I mean, it's not bad. It's just basic. Like. I was expecting like to be wow or maybe it's because I put too a little too much milk but like I'm not wowed I'm sorry Emma I failed you but it is what it is okay but, I mean I'm gonna still drink it because I pay for it but at the end of the day it's nothing that is like revolutionary like my hopes yeah. I'm sorry, Emma. Okay, guys, so final thoughts on the coffee. So, I had a couple more sips, and I'm sorry, Emma. I definitely put way too much freaking milk, okay? <laughs> I put way too much milk. Um, That was also my fault. So, I just let it sit around for a little bit, and I taste it again. I actually think it's as good as coffee can be from a beanbag. I think that it's very comparable to other brands. Just price point. I mean, it's cheap, but it's like... Do I really want to spend this much? Wait, I waited like I think a week to get my coffee. So wait a week and then drink my coffee, you know? And you have to use three be three bags for one cold brew. So if you just drink cold brew every morning, you're gonna be spending a lot of money on freaking coffee. It's like, should I buy this in bulk and pay for shipping or should I just drive to Starbucks? It's really up to you. Um, as far as convenience goes, I feel like that's the only like down. Part, you know, but I'm not saying the coffee's bad. I, I actually think it's actually pretty good for like it being in a bean bag. I know it's not called a bean bag, but I can't remember what it's called right now. Those are my final thoughts. I think that the coffee's actually decent, but it's nothing revolutionary. You know what I mean? I thought it was gonna like <laughs> like blow my mind, but it's actually it's decent. Like, okay, you guys are probably like, okay, compare it to this, compare it to this. My favorite drink from Starbucks is the ice caramel macchiato made with soy milk. So Compared to that, I'd rather go to Starbucks. And I know Emma hates Starbucks, so she'll be like, oh, her opinion's invalid, like, I get it. But like, that's my favorite drink from Starbucks, so, and I've had some other coffees as well, but I think that, I mean, you did good, girl. Like, you did good. You, I like how you made it in tea bags, so like, people who don't have a Keurig and stuff can make coffee, like, you did good. But at the same time, Eh, like it's nothing like that was supposed to, I thought I was gonna be wild, but you know, that's probably just me Maybe my expectations were too high, but yeah, you did good pretty much, but it's like nothing that I would like 
oh my god, I need to order another one, like, type shit. You know what I mean? Uh, but I think it is pretty good for if you're on the go, you're ready to make coffee, or you're trying to make coffee real quick in the morning, you don't have time to wait. Just pour it, pour your condiments, and then dip. Like, I think that's a good thing, but at the same time, it's like... Do I really want to do that or should I just go to Starbucks? You know what I mean? Um, but yeah. But that's the first video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Give this video a big fat like if you liked it. Let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see next. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, girl. Yeah. <laughs>